Lambeth 2020 is hugely significant. I'm sure every Archbishop thinks that, and in fact every uh, Lambeth Conference is hugely significant in and of itself. But if you go back a hundred years, you go back to the Lambeth Conference of 1920, that out of its vision to engage with the world and with other churches, contributed very significantly to resetting the agenda for the church globally in the 20th century. The key text we'll be looking at from the scripture will be the first letter of Peter, and uh, that leads us into all kinds of key themes. It leads us especially into th the theme of being God's people in God's world, for God's world. You know, once you were no people, now you are a people. God has created us, made us, changed us, uh, transformed us, and we are to be key in his transformation of the world around us. It will deal with issues of persecution, the themes that come out of 1 Peter 1. It will deal with themes of witness that come out of 1 Peter 3 and 4. It'll deal with themes of holiness, uh, of uh, hope, of prayer, um, of confident witness to the world around us, and of being citizens in the world, but not of the world, who in our actions are a blessing to God's world in reconciliation, in issues around climate change, in, uh, in every way seeking to do what God calls us to do. God's people for God's world, together in uh, worship, in walking together, in witness. The differences we have are differences within the family, within this one new people. They're about how we live as a holy people, how we live in a way that shows we are God's people. We do have very important differences, but we must show that we respect each other as sisters and brothers in Christ, and that we learn to disagree in a way that demonstrates that we love and value each other. Well, the Lambeth Conference in 2020 is mainly held down round Canterbury at the University of Kent at Canterbury, uh, quite likely to be one uh, London day, and we're working on the plans for that, but it will include coming to Lambeth Palace, and uh, that'll be a really exciting event. Uh, the whole conference looks immensely exciting. You have to remember, when we're looking at the programme, that uh, I've never been to a Lambeth conference, because I'm a sort of baby bishop, really. So that, uh, I'm fascinated by seeing how it's developing. We have what's called a design group, with people from all around the communion, all sections of the communion, of, and it also includes some uh, bishop spouses, because, of course, uh, uh, bishop spouses will be invited as well as bishops and there will be special sessions for the bishop spouses and joint sessions um, and uh, the design group therefore encompasses all the ranges of view within the communion but whatever views we come with we come to be under the authority of scripture and inspired by the spirit quite rightly and very importantly, the program centres around uh, studying the Bible together, reading the Bible together, listening to God, praying together, and there'll be plenary sessions and breakout groups and seminars, uh, setting the direction and the vision for the next few years, many years, for the Anglican Communion. And it, it's a hugely important event. Uh, which will be referred back to for years. And I hope that in this conference that it will be significant because we look outwards at the world that needs the good news of Jesus Christ. And it needs to see it in our actions, envy it, 
in our love together and hear it in our confident proclamation of the good news of Jesus. And this conference is about in listening to God through scripture and in prayer and through each other. So we go out on, with our hearts on fire.